Hello everybody, so today I wanted to make a very important video. Now in my last video I talked about trailing 12 months and I noticed that not too many people watched it. So maybe people don't understand this or maybe they understand it fully or maybe I just didn't um, convey the message well enough. So today I'm going to show you how to use an earnings per share estimate to calculate the trailing 12 month earnings per share and to kind of calculate um, earnings per um, to calculate PE ratios. So here with JPM, we have earnings per share estimate to be 2.693. Now you're gonna have to wonder, is this good or is this bad? Well, you have to look at prior data to kind of understand if this is good or if this is bad. So I'm gonna to go to this website, it's called Macro Trends. And um, essentially, they just record a lot of trend data for stocks. So what I'm going to look at is JP Morgan earnings per share by quarter. So if we're comparing this to last year's quarter, last year's quarter was 4.5. Now, they're expecting 2.69. So this is very bad. It's not, it's not good at all. So trailing 12 months, how do we calculate this? So what we end up doing is we get four quarters of data and then we just sum that all up together. So um, here we have 3.33, we have 3.74, we have 3.78, and we have 4.5. Each of these bars represents one quarter. So the sum of these four bars is going to equal 15.35, which is the trailing 12 months. This is our current trailing 12 month EPS. So if we're looking at this bar right here, this is 15.82. Now what this is doing here is that it's looking at these four months, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we're adding 3.8 plus 4.5 plus 3.78 plus 3.74 to get this prior quarter's trailing 12 month uh, EPS. I'm going to go look at PE ratios. So if we're looking at PE ratios, PE ratio is um, the stock price divided by earnings per share. And that's a full year's worth of um, earnings per share, so um, four quarters. So generally in the um, PE ratios that you look up online, they're using the 12 month, um, the 12 month, uh, the trailing 12 month EPS. So right now, the P.E. ratio is at 8.57, so that's kind of low. And um, what could be going on here is that they're forecasting um, this bad earnings, so that's, that's why the stock is falling a lot. So 8.57, I mean, we have to go all the way back. Let's see. Yeah, we have to go all the way back to like um, 2000 levels to see PE ratios this low on um, JP Morgan. So Excel spreadsheet to kind of further talk about this idea. So this is right now uh, trailing 12 months. So we're looking at these four quarters of earnings per share. But this new data right here, this um, estimated earnings per share for this quarter is 2.693. And it's replacing this 4.5 from uh, the prior year's quarter. So now the earnings per share, if we sum this all up, we're going to get the trailing 12 months using this estimated data. So right now we're at 15.35. Using this estimated data, we're at 13.543. Now we're going to look at the current stock price, which is 131.54. And we're going to calculate the current PE based off the trailing 12 months. So right now, if we're basing it off right now's trailing 12 months, the current PE is 8.57. Now, if we're basing it off the estimated um, trailing 12 months with this uh, new data, the PE is 9.71. So now you have this question. Okay, so what if 
Tomorrow's earnings is exactly this estimate right here. Well, what will the stock price have to be to hit the current P.E. ratio of 8.57? So the way that you calculate this is you do equals. You're going to multiply the new trailing 12 months by 8.57. So essentially, if JP Morgan goes down to $116, and this is their new trailing 12 month EPS, then what the PE ratio will be at this price is going to be 8.57. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys on um, just understanding trailing 12 months, how to use EPS estimates, and how to calculate PE ratios. Thank you very much and have a great day.